night. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Hey, this is Juanita. Today, my husband and I are going to go back to Ashford, Arizona. So, uh, we're packed and we're ready to go. So, um, and this time I am going well prepared. I've got these really fancy little gargles. I've got latex gloves, uh, gloves, uh, food, everything that we necessarily need so that we're not hopefully stopping places and getting infected. So I will see you guys on the road. It is uh, 3 o'clock p.m. and we are in Primeville. Um, I think that was an eagle right before we hit Primeville. And uh, we're probably about, oh, I don't know, probably 30 minutes from Ben, Oregon. Okay, so we are about 15 minutes from uh, Burns, Oregon, and uh, there's a lot of snow, it looks beautiful. I'm just glad it's off the road. Let's see what's up ahead. Can't even see me, but uh, we just got in, it's about uh, 7.45 p.m. And and so we just are, uh, we're just getting into Nevada. Um, yeah, still have a little ways to go. Um, I'm gonna see if uh, there's a place here to stay because I'm getting tired of, of riding. Um, I guess we've been on the road now for about seven, almost eight hours. So I think it's time to get out of the car and just sit back and relax. So this area here is called uh, McDermott and it's the same place we stopped at when we were coming back from Arizona in July. And so yeah, this place right here is really creepy. Show this in the daylight. Now when we came through here, we were heading back home from Ashford and so we were facing the sign that said welcome to oregon and now we're going into nevada so it's it's amazing that we're here at the same spot and um but at night so there's probably nothing here to no place here to stay i mean i see that there's people that live here but um yeah it's kind of deserted really to tell you the truth I would have picked a different picture to put on the wall, given everything. <laughs> it looks like mold. Oh, uh, can we take that down, Penny? Oh, come on. I'm serious. I don't want to squeeze this out of top, but it looks really dusty. We can put it back in the water. And you know what? They're too tough, this place. <laughs> We're gonna take off the room actually actually the room was pretty good don't you think i mean yeah. you know for what it is it for was, what it was yeah. it was 60 bucks to stay here but it was really nice and quiet Clean. and uh reasonably yeah. as far as we could tell we, we yeah <laughs> i smell a faint of smoke but outside of that um it was really pretty relatively good quiet i slept really good the bed was comfortable Strong shower. <laughs> strong shower. Always always a must for me. A strong, strong shower. Uh, so yeah. I would give I would give it probably uh 
you know, uh, three plus stars. You know, I mean, it's not the Ritz, <laughs> but it, uh, it worked really well for us, so. We're gonna take off, but it is cold. It is really cold, my hands are like freezing. But I wanted to show you guys the mountains here. The mountains are gorgeous and they're full of snow. So this is the place that we're staying at, which is the McDermott. It's, a, it's, it's only like, what is it? Like six rooms? But the mountains are just gorgeous. I love snow and of course I get excited whenever I see them. So yeah, so this is it. The pink building that you see is the bone place. Yeah. 
just love the pattern and it's kind of like zigzag. It's really kind of cool. But anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of what we're looking at because there really is not a whole lot there. But the mountains are absolutely gorgeous. We traveled up this road here and a lot of people were coming straight at us and I don't we were um, heading this direction so I and there's a clear yellow line so I don't understand why they were coming onto our lane but there was a few cars it's kind of slick out here but I wanted to show you this little town I'm not sure what the name of this little town is um, Anyway, I wanted to show you this little town because it's so like going back in time and it's really cool. Um, I'll walk into some of the shops as well, but I'm feeling the wind against me heading up this hill here. <coughs> and, uh, but uh, it's actually, when the sun hits you, it's actually really actually fairly warm kind of stepping on ice over here being extremely careful so nothing seems to be open there's a hotel here it doesn't look like it's open and uh oh here's a restaurant maybe my husband's in this restaurant <sighs> see if i can go in there oops Looks like they do not require masks. Wow. Okay. Well, I am not going in there. Uh, looks like the only place that is open. But if I can't wear a mask, I'm not going to go in there. Uh, and they do have the right to refuse service. So, um, yeah, I'm not going in there. I just refuse to. Um, go into a place. Oh, looks like the alarm went off in there. Wonder what that's all about. Oh, the lady put a bullhorn on me. I don't know if I caught that, but I shut the camera off when she was speaking because I. You know, I really didn't get her permission to be filming any of it. I just uh, wanted to show this little town. Now, I guess when you live in a little town, uh, you don't worry so much about COVID, but being that I um, have had COVID, whether it was just the flu or not, I got sick, I got tested, and so I'm going to protect myself. I'm not going to be freaked out or you know, go overboard with the situation, but I think it's just smart to protect yourself. This little antique store, museum. Aust oh, we're in Austin, Nevada. That's where we're at. We're in Austin, Nevada. Are they open? No. But we'll look in the windows. The sun is right directly in my face, so I can't really. And this is also part of that uh, Highway 50 that we've been traveling on. Looks like there's more than one shop. Looks like this one here is uh, custom jewelry. But it is also closed. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of shops, but they're just really close, which is really too bad be lovely to go into some of those places and check them out because the buildings are really historical and that one says it looks like it might be stagecoach in looks like they have rooms that's it <laughs> um, this was built in the 1890 mid 1800s uh-huh this town had a population of 10,000 really yeah it was uh there was a silver uh, mining operation let's 
it's an old it, bar. It looks like this it's really town, kind of cool. This isn't COVID. It looks like this town's been an old nothing for a long time. It's possible, yeah. Is that an old deer head there? Yeah, it's an old bar. But it's just really cool to see this history. I look at and this picture. This is the commercial. Oh, let me go back out there. This is a commercial company, and it's got a lot of history, which is really cool. Let's see if I can. Looks like they did a lot of logging through railway. Look at this picture. This picture is really a cool picture. I don't know how well I can capture that. But, I mean, these are the days of this town. It doesn't look like it's changed much from that picture up above. Oh, and look at this building. Looks like it's on the beach. I don't see any beaches out here. This here's the Silver Express. So this was this building at one time. That's what that building is. And it was kind of the hotel as well. Here's another saloon established in 1878. It'll bring it really close. It's really cute. Love all the woodwork. I love this. <laughs> That's all Coca Cola. Doesn't look like it's been used for a long time. Wonder if it even opens up. Oh, yep. Looks like there's sanitizer, so somebody uses sanitizers and got rid of it there. It's always nice to see things out of the ordinary. You know, when you live in a city, you know, you're consumed with the city life and uh, all the things, the amenities and stuff. And then you come into a little town like this that is so remote and so fearsome. And, and you really kind of have to be grateful for everything that you have and uh, when you look around I mean this is a gorgeous town I mean there's you know nothing like this and I sure can appreciate it but uh, okay time to get back on the road hi the old shadow wave here um, this was the place that we stopped over here at uh, Goldfield to eat, and it's the only real diner to eat at. So now we're going to be going to uh, look at some uh, cars that are really decked out, really weird, <laughs> supposedly called art. And I quite quite the setup here baby head that's kind of creepy <laughs> a lot of creepy art supposedly there is a a huge uh, yard that has a ton of this this is really creepy <laughs> oh my goodness this is uh, amazing. This one here has like a beetle on the top. There's another beetle with fishing poles. I would imagine that's what they are. And just a lot of rocks. This really kind of reminds me of that. Boneyard place yeah. over in uh, Dermot. All right. We're here at Golden Field. 
Nevada and my sister and her partner, we ended up meeting them because they were heading home to Portland from Vegas and then actually asked for it. And uh, they rented a car and are heading back to Portland. Look at this. I know. It's like an oak caboose or an oil caboose or what is it? Yeah, like an old spin. Yeah. Like one of the first. Wow, look at it. It even has some wood on it. Okay, it looks like it would even have uh, where you could feed it some wood, maybe? Fire? Yeah, I don't maybe. know. And then we've got the gardener to Denver. There used to be a, a steam track. Yeah, look at that one. I know, isn't that cool? There's the sign for Goldfield. It, it looks like a water truck though. But a little tiny caboose. Well, you ready? I'm ready. So, according to Dinky's Diner, or Dinky's Diner rather, um, there's only about 200 people here. But I believe she said there was like 25,000, which was the biggest town. Um, back in the mid 1800s, there was like 25,000 here who lived here. So I don't know where all these people lived or where they went, but uh, <laughs> there's only 200 oh, people. You see up there? This is the great. This is the gravestone. Let's let's drive yes. up there and okay. take a look. Okay. Okay. This is a really interesting building with the galvanized yeah. steel. Yeah. National Car Forest. <laughs> Respect the art. Oh, it's a car. Yeah, they're all cars. The sun's kind of in the way, but this is the car museum and of course it's it's getting dark so probably can't really even see it but it's kind of nice to see it even with the sunset walk a little bit further i mean it's it's kind of interesting to see this i mean i would have never thought of doing something that's creative with cars. So I guess it looks much better than if uh, it were, you know, just a wrecking yard. At least uh, they did something more creative to it. There's a bus over on that side over there. Kind of looks good with the sunset up front. Let's see what it has inside. Kind of empty. I think I'm going to walk all the way to that bus in front, but looks like a huge bus over there. They even did the tires here, which is really kind of nice. This here says try me and that looks like a huge rock over here. 
and it's got a smiley face. Okay, I gotta get back in the car and get going. We got a long ways to go. I just thought that I'd show you guys this. It is getting dark anyway. Okay, it is really getting dark, but I wanted to, I went ahead and decided to come up here. It looks like there's a cave or something over there. And I didn't see that from a distance. So this is that one bus. So I guess this must be the bus stop. And uh, won't go into the cave. Now I'm walking back, but I thought that I kind of zoomed this in because <coughs> it is uh, just amazing. It's starting to get chilly. I can feel the temperature dropping. It was so warm earlier that I took off my sweatshirt to put on some uh, lighter shirt and felt great. But now the temperature's dropping and I think I'm gonna get in the car. As you can see from the horizon, there is a little bit of scattered snow, so. Okay, for sure now, I am leaving. So I'm gonna leave you with this little smiley face. <laughs> it's so cute. Just left um, Goldfield. I mean, it, we left it probably about a half hour ago. But, so I wanna share this uh, sunset real quick. never seen a brothel uh, before but this is called the alien uh, cat house brothel hot girls beers free tours yeah I don't think so but I've, I've never really seen a brothel I've heard of them and so this is where the brothel uh, alien center is. This is kind of where we stopped to get gas, so. Oh my goodness, that truck really put out some fumes. Whew. So we stopped here. Oh my gosh. There, I mean, all of a sudden it just got really dusty. That's weird. Okay. Okay, so we made it as far as Kingman. Arizona and so we decided to stay at the Arizona Inn. The room looks really good. The floor is clean. It smells clean. The bed, well, let's see. Ah, uh, the bed feels really comfortable. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, we're just uh, calling it a night. It's really late with the time change and everything. It's an hour later, so it's already like 10.30. And uh, my husband has primarily been the only driver uh, I don't know how that happened, but uh, he's exhausted. 
no doubt, and I'm exhausted just from riding in the car, so. And we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so we're just packing up the car and gonna head to my brother's. It's an hour and a half. Uh, I'm a little anxious. I couldn't sleep really well last night, I think, because I was a little anxious about this whole situation, but uh, it'll be good to see family and uh, get on the road again, get into a permanent housing so that we're not moving every two days. But uh, yeah, so anyway, gonna pack it up. I'll see you guys soon. So on the road again, uh, we're going through the canyon uh, right now, um, right out of uh, Kingsman. Arizona, heading to uh, Ash Fork, Arizona. It's really kind of pretty here uh, with the canyon and everything. I just love the way the rock formations are, you know? Gorgeous. And it, it's just amazing how Mother Earth can uh, create such beauty, you know? The winds, I'm pretty sure it's the winds that create it like that. Traveling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell I still feel that I'm alone I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it on my own On my own I have learned that no one else can carry this load It's a train where I'm the only passenger on board Oh, there is beauty to enjoy on this road But even so, I still feel Sweetie, come here. Oh, come here, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. 